with the exception of Slovenia, Estonia, Croatia and the Czech Republic, the population of the countries in transition from communism is poor, sometimes inordinately so. But this may be an advantage. Looming and actual penury is a major, major driver of entrepreneurship, initiative and innovation. Wealth formation and profit seeking are motivated by indigence, both absolute and relative. In other words, the poor seek to better their position in the world by becoming middle class. They invest in education, small businesses, in consumer products, and in future generations. Consider the Germans. Sated and affluent, they are unlikely to experience a second economic miracle. And now compare them to the Serbs, Macedonians, Albani Albanians, Ukrainians, Poles, or Romanians. They will not survive without an economic miracle. The West is just discovering this truism and is opening its gates, albeit xenophobically and intermittently, to poor foreigners. For what is immigration, if not the importation of ambitious indigents, certain to revitalize the EU's rich and somnolent economies and to contribute to its pension funds? The countries of Central and Eastern Europe thus stand to benefit twice. Their own economic renaissance is spurred on by a striving, homegrown proletariat, and they are uniquely positioned, geographically and culturally, to export destitute go-getters to the wealthy, to the West, and to reap the rewards of the inevitable spirit in entrepreneurship and innovation and remittances that follows. Remittances, returning expatriates, thriving and networked diasporas, will do more to uplift the countries of origin than any amount of oft misallocated multilateral aid and self-interested foreign direct investment. 